All right, so how's it going, everybody? Today we got part 16 of some TTM carding. And anyone else been playing this? I think it just came out the other day for like tablets or phones and stuff. Pokemon Quest. I've been having some fun with that. It's kind of a cool mess around kind of game. Really, dog? You're gonna. I literally hit record. He always does that. I hit record and he's all quiet. And then once I record, he has to scratch and then run off. Thanks, Captain. Great dog. But anyway, Tampa. St. Petersburg, Florida. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm professional. Don't have my letter opener ready to go. But yes, hopefully something cool. Also saw Sandy Alcantara, Contra, Katara, either one. Um, had his debut tonight for the Marlins, which is pretty sweet. They got the win against the Mets. Pretty cool. Been looking forward to seeing him play since spring training and turned out pretty well. Oh, and $8 winnings on DraftKings. Can't believe that, but let's see what card. It is Bowman Twins. Wait, Bowman? Yeah. Who? Charlie Barnes. Just one card? Oh. Yes. So cool. Apparently we only had the paper version of this. Because like I said, if I have the chrome, I tried to do a chrome and a paper, but if I don't have either one, oh, it's a draft. I wouldn't have had the Bowman draft chrome because I only bought a paper set. So that's pretty sweet. Thank you, Charlie Barnes. Let's see when we sent that out. So this took 15 days out of Fort Myers Miracle. I believe they just played here a couple weeks ago maybe or something, so I think I missed them and I was like, okay, I'll just try and send the card. But yeah, 15 days, that's pretty cool so far. I'm the first person to try Fort Myers Miracle. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Thank you, Charlie. And yeah, another Bowman draft down like that. And also, apparently Juan Soto went off tonight. He got me 42 points in DraftKings. Two home runs. Mike Trout, one home run, bunch of hits. Alex Bregman did all right. And Acuna, a hot two points. But I guess tonight was the, his first game back or something. So of course I picked him, you know. Of course that was me, but whatever. I'll take $8, that's pretty cool, for $3. Let's wait for some more cards. Okay, cards time again, and we're gonna have a card out of North Texas, Dallas, Texas. But first, figure I'd show a couple, to me, cool cards I got. Tops now, out of focus, oh, there we go. Um, I love the idea of Tops now, there's just, too many cool things baseball players do every week, but Juan Soto, thinking he might be one of my favorite noob kind of player deals. He's not a Marlin, that's okay, but you know what? I like the guy, and he seems to be pretty cool with signing stuff, so I like that. Also, Stadium Club, Sandy Alcantara. Uh, he just had, when was it? Was it last week? I think it was. Last Friday, his first game. Pretty cool. I've been looking forward to watching him. But of course, first game, wins. Now he's on the 10-day DL with something. <laughs> I don't know why, but hopefully it's not a long-term problem because he is really cool to watch at spring training here. And then hopefully now we can watch him on some Marlins. And then, what year is this one? 2014. Thought this was pretty cool. Uh, Jose Fernandez, probably definitely my favorite player. But I thought that was a cool-looking card of them. Fortunately, don't get to watch them play anymore. Also that Sandy card, $2.50. What a score there. Shout outs to people accepting best offers. That's pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got out of North Texas. Feels like one card, I wanna say. Hopefully something cool today. Fourth of July. I guess morning would be Fourth of July. So hopefully everyone has a great holiday. Do some fireworks, 
My dog hates 4th of July. And for, I wish there was some way to have it so he's not scared. But, okay, there's my, oh, we almost saw who it was. The deer part, probably not do that. But let's, it was someone with a D, I believe, but. Okay, I believe Siri, at least top series one, two, or update or something. <gasps> oh, Doug Fister. Oh, it's Dear Doug. Now you guys got to see all my crappy handwriting. Did not write on the index card, but pretty sweet. Doug Fister. I like that. What, series one from last year. That's pretty sweet. Thank you, Doug. Let's see when we sent that one out. All right, so Doug Fisker here, sent out May 19th to the Texas Rangers. Took 46 days, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, Doug Fisker. I like, I think that turned out really nice. Clean autograph on it, pretty sweet. So thank you, Doug. And then, I was trying to save it, can't do it. The anticipation on it's killing me whenever it's like one of these bubble mailer things. So I'm not, Entirely sure who it is. Also, please do not bend does not apply to whoever <laughs> shoved this in the mailbox, kind of like bent up. So hopefully it's not an eight by 10. I don't think it is. I kind of think I know who it is, I want to say, but, uh, and if it, it's who I think it is, um, I don't think I sent an eight by 10, but let's see. It could, if it's from who it is, who I think it is, this could be pretty cool. Feel two top loaders, so I think I'm right. So if I'm right, we have got from this person before during spring training. So it's just the top, the two top loaders, where, where, where is that? Okay. Let's see. Whew. Yes! It is him. So. The bubble mailer is like Juan Soto. This is the other dude I was saying. I haven't seen if the second one's signed yet, but Royce Lewis. Pretty awesome to me from Royce Lewis. So during spring training, we got him on just the Bowman draft paper. And then I was, I was like, okay, that's really awesome, but I do love the chrome. I love the chrome. So, and then there was an insert, I believe, in... 17 draft. Huh. Yes. Nice. Thank you, Royce Lewis. That's pretty sweet. Also, I, it's not, I didn't put them in a sleeve because I feel like, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's kind of a mind game where they're like, oh, it's not super protected. So maybe this person isn't trying to like resell or something like that kind of deal. So I just think with Juan Soto, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but uh, these aren't any autographs that I would be trying to resell anyway, but I mean, they don't know that. But uh, yeah, that was my thought process on that. I guess I probably could have put them in a sleeve, but that's pretty sweet. I liked it. Also, it was a big in the bigger envelope, I guess, uh, mailer now, because for Juan Soto and Royce Lewis, I was like, yo, if you have the chance, could I get a batting glove or something? It's no big deal if not. So I guess they chose the not part. But whatever. I am i don't care. I'm happy with this. This looks awesome. Let's find the, the one I got from spring. Alright, so we got the one from spring training right there. Royce Lewis. Let's see what... I don't know. To me it kind of looks the same. A little bit different, but looks the same. Anyway, Harlan... I like that card. That mini Bowman card is really cool. I'm going to have to see if they do that again for 2018 Bowman. Because I think that would be kind of a funny, cool looking card to get signed. Some of those if we could try to do that. But, yes. Royce Lewis. Cedar Rapids Colonels took 63 days. Sent that out on May 2nd. So, pretty sweet. I like it. This is like a cool insert thing. Defining moments. And another person added to the collection. Royce Lewis. Royce Luai. Is that what these card double cards? Royce Luai cards and Doug Fister. Thank you guys. Another card in here. And it's out of West Palm Beach. So 
kind of interesting. Let's see what this is going to be. I think I sent one or two to some Hammerheads players here. And I'm not entirely sure what else if it's not that. So let's see. I don't remember. Who is this one? Outfielder. Oh! I think I know who. Who? Todd Hollinsworth. Huh. That's out of West Palm. How is that out of West Palm? Pretty sure that, I mean... I think that, I, I don't know, I have to look it up, but Todd Hollinsworth. Um, apparently he played with the Marlins some time ago. I guess this would have been 2003. I think he only played a year on the Marlins, but you can see here he has a bunch of time. I, I, on the Dodgers, maybe you can't see. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, this year a uh, Marlins kind of announcer on the TV box. So I thought that was kind of cool. He had a bunch of other cards and uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really care for people if they're not on the Marlins, other than some of these dudes. But uh, I thought that would be kind of cool. And you hear him talk almost every game. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see how long that took. All right, so sent that out May 26. And of course, mine took 42 days, which is the longest from everyone. And out of Parkland, Florida, which is probably 30 minutes away, maybe 45 minutes away from me to the south. So, I guess that's still kind of in West Palm Beach, like Palm Beach County kind of deal, I guess. So that's why that's from there. It's kind of thinking that might be Miami, but, or like Dade, something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Thank you, Todd. Oh, he's, he's pretty good announcer. I like him. Uh, Marlins have been <laughs> seemingly running through them just as much as players, but uh, yeah, pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Thank you. Another card in, and seems to be a mystery one, because there is no marking, so I'm not entirely sure at all where this came from, but it feels kind of thick, like two cards, perhaps, so that's all we can tell, but who even knows if it is two cards. Let's see, there are, is there more than two? No, just two. I think one's like a Gypsy Queen kind of cardboard style. Something super shiny in it. Oh, I think I know who this one is. Not, I'm not entirely sure on the player, but I know what cards these are, I believe. So, who? Nice, Justin Nicolino, that's who. <laughs> I was like, I, know, I recognize the card in the back. Oh, and he signed that one too, cool. So, I don't think, was he the one? I think I did. That'd be good to compare, but we'll look after this. I believe I got his autograph one other time. Just Nicolino, Marlins pitcher, and who? Nice. I love these. This is 2012, was it? Yeah, 2012. Be better focused. 2012 Bowman. There, I guess he was drafted by the Blue Jays. I don't know if they're like a prism or whatever kind of refractor special thing, but well, it says refractor at the top, but I think there's like blue wave kind of deal. I thought this card, I got Lewis Brinson on the same one. This card uh, kind of smeared a little, but not the biggest deal at all. Still looks really nice. But yeah, I love, I love the look of these cards. They're pretty sweet. They look really cool in the light. So that's awesome, and then this was Heritage, I think. Yeah, Heritage, um, 2015. So that's pretty sweet too. Let's see. Oh, I did not know he was from Orlando. Can't read that, but that's what it says. Let's see how long that took. So that took 22 days. Sent it out June 15th to the Louisville Bats. Apparently, Marlins traded him to Cincinnati Reds at some point during this year. I did not. Really realized that because we got him during the start of spring training right here on uh, Gypsy Queen. And that looks pretty similar, I'd say. So, 
I always like comparing if it's someone I got in person to what it is through the mail kind of deal. So, I mean, looks good to me. So, that's that Gypsy Queen. Love Gypsy Queen. Those are my favorite cards. Actually, Bowman, I think, has become my probably second favorite kind of set. I, really, I like getting some of these Bowman. Oop, hit the camera. Hit, like, hit the camera again. I like getting some of these Bowman signs, so pretty sweet. Thank you, uh, Justin Nicolino. And there's the Lewis Brinson one I got during spring training. I, gotta, I should probably see what other players, because that would be kind of a... Uh, I don't know how many... If it's one of every player, that's not going to happen, but a couple of guys that we like should see in 2012 Bowman draft, if they... Or not draft, is it a draft? BD... Guessing maybe it is. Usually when they have BD, it's Bowman draft, but... Whatever Bowman 2012 that is, yeah, we should try and see if we can get some more of those signed because they look really nice.